Okay, guys, so TikTok has this trend where you talk about your life for the past, like, one or two years, bro, and the stories that are coming my FYP are getting me stressed. This is Vinashia, bro, and l listen to this story. April 2020, got kicked out of my parents' house. Moved in with my BF right after I found out I was getting cheated on. You moved in with the guy that cheated on you? Make that make sense. Trying to make the best of the relationship at this point. I guess. I mean, you guys look cute, though. You do look cute. Got a second job at Walmart. Good, because you need to leave him. My teacher job finally opened back up after COVID first started. Okay, so you, you're a teacher. That's cool. Was saving 90% of my paychecks for a new car. Okay, so you're getting your life together. July 2020, finally bought a car with my BF. She is so happy. I got to see my sister for the first time ever since I got kicked out. Oh, that's so cute. I do wonder why you got kicked out because she didn't get kicked out. Is that the house? That is a big ass house. Even back there is a big ass house. How rich are you guys? Boyfriend's birthday in October. We did this shoot together. Y'all look cute. Our relationship was nowhere near healthy. In spite of us loving each other so much, I had to leave. Whoa, what the fuck? Well, actually, no. We knew what time he was on. Moved in with this girl I got really close with. I would help her out with her business all the time. Are those edibles? You, help, <laughs> you helped her sell drugs? So you moved in with a drug dealer. I went down to Florida with her so she can break up with her BF. You and the plug drove to Florida so that she can break up with her boyfriend in person? I mean, I don't know. When you don't like someone, you just text them or just call them. Just let them know through an email. I don't know, bro. Came back and met this girl she used to be friends with. So you became friends with the girl that she's not friends with anymore? She's not friends with her for a reason. So like, where's the loyalty? We all tripped acid and I kissed her for the first time that day. Instantly crushed on her. You fell in love with the girl that your friend hates? The one that you live with? I got kicked out to living on the couch now because she got jealous of me liking someone else. Stop being friends with her this day. Nah, you got kicked out because you're not loyal and whatever you're not saying. Also, how you get kicked out? Is your name not on the lease? Y'all got to start putting y'all names on the leases, guys. After I left, she got evicted and I bought myself a car. Finally, she just did the she's down. I'm up. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> That's what she did. Signed the lease to the apartment in my name. Was so proud of myself. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you too because now you put it in your name. You ain't getting kicked out no more. Evicted roommate then pulled up and caught me lacking the next day. Apparently, she had feelings for me and I broke girl code by crushing on a friend of ours. If she's saying you broke girl code, that means that you knew she had a thing for her, number one. Two, I just can't imagine her coming to fight you just because you got her girl or something. There's something you're not saying. People don't just beat up people like that. Look at you. Look at you. You got, you, who won? It don't look like you did. So I let her move in with me since she was always over at my place. What? Why would you? Why? She just whooped your ass. I had no car again at this point. Where the fuck are your cars going? I don't understand why you let her move in. Help me understand. Going out more with her and her friend. Getting even more close with this girl. Another one of her friends. A family friend needed somewhere to live. I let her move in with me and got her a cake for hitting 1 million followers. Damn, a million followers. You would think that you could make some money off that. You just letting everybody move in. You are, you are very nice. I let her come work with me at my job. Ended up getting both of us fired because she allegedly hit a child. Oh my God. You just lost your teaching job because of this girl. Kick her out the house. Got another job working overnight. What the fuck is this place? It looks like UPS or some shit. My ex and my sister surprised me with a kitty. Your ex? Who? Which ex? Why are you talking? Stop talking to y'all exes. You left them for a reason. The cat is cute, but damn, you, you don't need no more responsibilities. You can barely keep a crib. Me and my ex then drove our roommate to see her long distance girlfriend. Which ex are you talking about? And y'all over here watching anime and driving. You got your ex and you driving and watching and watching anime. This is a whole safety hazard. Genuinely started falling for her at this point. Who is this? Okay, so this has to be her friend that moved back in after she got beat up by her friend. This is her other friend. You just go on for all your friend's friends. I just don't understand this. Have you not learned your lesson? In December, she officially asked me to be her girlfriend. I guess that's cute. I guess it's, I guess that's cute, bro. But now I see drama on the way. Whole time out, our roommate wasn't living at the apartment anymore for two months, but was still paying rent and then switched up on us out of nowhere. Yeah, that's fucked up. It was my 21st birthday this day. Was able to pay the rent even though she didn't pay her part, but I ended up getting fired at work too. Wait, wait, you signed the lease for this apartment by yourself. You should have already been able to afford this by yourself. Remember, you were helping them out. 
They were broke when you invited them. And then you're going to get fired from your overnight job? How do you even do that? What did you do? So now we all broke. Still went out to celebrate that night, and my ex threw me a surprise birthday as well. You still went out to turn up broke as hell? Who bought your drinks? Who bought? You were still buying drinks broke as hell. Oh, my God. And your ex? Which ex? Who? Three days later, I had to beat my ex-roommate's ass for trashing the apartment and talking shit about us. She said some disrespectful stuff about my personal trauma. Wait, the girl that was the plug that kicked you out the house and then you got your own crib and then you let her move in with you and then now she's your ex-roommate again and you had to beat her ass for talking shit about you? It's like, what did you, what did you expect? You keep fucking on her friends. I knew this was going to happen. Next day, she posting about how she purposely did all of that like she really thought she ate. Days later, after all of that, I found out my ex texted her ex trying to cheat on me. I was so hurt because I never thought she would do that to me. Okay, so your new girl, who was friends with the plug, was talking to her ex behind your back. Bro, you need to just move from this entire circle of friends. This is a very unloyal circle of friends, or it might be you. You might be the problem, and you're acting like a victim. Still decided to be with her and make it work, but deep down, I wasn't okay, but I kept trying to do my best to love her. You really be just giving people a chance. I mean, I feel you're in love, but oh my God. I decided I needed to break up with her and that we would be better off growing on our own. Good decision. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. Come on. Packed up our apartment. I thought it was yours. You signed it. My other ex came to help me, Lamile. That day was a shit show. Which ex are you talking about? Moved to a different city with him, ready to restart. With him? With your... Who? Him? Was so happy to have my car back again. Okay, so I guess you got your money up. Started doing breath work and yoga every day to help with my healing journey. See, I love this. I love this. Constantly spending my time out talking to the pretty flowers, as well as journaling and painting would help me with days that were really hard. Started working out a lot to help with my pent up aggression to help me let go of the trauma from my last relationship. Is that your ex? Who? Which ex is this? Constantly talking to each other about our past in order to heal from it, growing closer together. Which ex? Which? Started to realize he changed so much into such a great person that I wouldn't have to deal with all the BS he put me through the first time we were together. Oh my God, I know who this is. Yo! You're back with Buddy? You're back with Buddy? The one that cheated on you multiple times? What? You... What? How are you on a... What? Got me a cute retail job. I don't know if I can take any more of this, guys. So that's how she got her car back. She didn't buy her a car. Her guy came back, and now she can use the car again. This is what's happening. Then his apartment people effed us over by thinking no one was living in the unit, even though rent was being paid for two months already. Apartment places just don't kick you out when you pay rent. Like, you get to sue. There's contracts. Something isn't right here, bro. Your man... Ooh, your man is already red flagging! We had to move and was living from hotel to hotel together. Oh my God. Y'all got two incomes. How are y'all still broke? We were still working, but didn't tell anyone about our situation. Throughout this time, I was constantly stressed and it was taking a toll on me, but was trying to stay positive for the both of us. What happened to the spiritual healing and the healing journey and all that? See, as soon as your ex came back, everything went to hell. Everything went to hell. Every day when I wasn't working, I was applying for apartments, but due to my recent change of employment, I kept getting denied. Nah, fuck that. I'm over this. You keep getting denied because you keep failing to pay rent. This is what is happening. This is why you're getting kicked out. You keep being broke. This is what's happening. And then you're getting fired from every job because you're probably not showing up. I'm over this. It is you. I'm not doing this. It is you. Football season started and we couldn't afford the hotel prices anymore. Had nowhere else to go. Hotel prices on average like $100 a day. That means you guys are spending about three three hundred dollars a month or if not somewhere around there there's no way that you couldn't have afford one some one bedroom or a studio i'm just so confused we moved back into his mom house oh my fuck look at the zebra guys right back where the fuck she started how how does this happen what kind of fucking story is this both got a job working overnight while i babysit local kids in the daytime so we can save up for our own place again oh okay you weren't a teacher you help run daycare centers Finally being able to relax and enjoy each other again without all the stress. <laughs> until, until the next episode of Dragon Ball Z and you'll find out he's cheating. But okay, I, I wish the best though. I, I don't like to do that. I wish the best. 
And now getting back to feeling myself and learning through all my experiences, how strong I've become in spite of life. Keep trying to knock me down. No, you're knocking yourself down. You keep dating your exes. You keep fucking on your friends, friends, but okay. 12 year old me would be so proud if she knew all the accomplished and the woman I've become. Maybe spiritually, but you're living back in your cheating boyfriend's mom's house. Back where you started. So I, I can't clap that hard, but I'm proud and happy that you got your energy. You know, you feel me? It's hard to be in this world. But I'm fucking stressed, okay? I'm still stressed. This whole thing stressed me the fuck out. Guys, there's a bunch of these fucking stories. I'll do more. If you ask me, say more or just do another one. But this shit stresses me out. I'm not going to cap, but I do this for y'all, okay? What do y'all think about this? Guys, we just made it to 400,000 followers. I'm really a music artist, but I make these videos because I know you like them. So please follow the page for me. And besides all of this, remember, when you woke up in your bed, it was just you. You had a plan. You have come so far. Do not forget why you did all that work. I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and we not gonna live it being no weak motherfucker on dead nim. We got work to do. Pop your shit, star. If it was love, then why didn't you stay? I remember every time you told me that I was the one that couldn't be replaced. But it was so easy to throw us away. And the only way I keep my peace is thinking the universe wants it to be. I fucking love you, but not more than me. When I could die tomorrow, I cannot leave with no regrets. You acting different, I'm peeping on that. I really wanted to stay till the end. But I gotta take off these rose colored glasses. And no one is time for me to walk away. So I can say we wanted different things. All of this effort, I'm tired of asking for it. Why did you ask me to commit? I see where this is going and sit to a ditch. 